the purpose of this foundation is, uh, is really fundamental to what we do, powering the people around the world. Uh, I have the privilege of leading GE Power's business, which is uh, started 125 years ago this year. Thomas Edison, there's his picture, or it was up there earlier. So uh, I actually work in Schenectady, New York, where he started the company. So uh, that's what I do. And what's nice about uh, the company is I like to talk about it as a 125-year-old startup <laughs> because uh, as it's evolved over time, a uh, tremendous amount of innovation every year. And today, uh, with our technology and our customers, 30% of the world's electricity comes from GE technology. And today, we actually service 40% of the world's electricity. 70% uh, of our business outside the U.S., but nowhere is the disruption in what's going on in the world right now more apparent than in the U.S. So what I would say the single biggest area of the most disruption that I see going on and will impact the next 10 or 20 years is digital. Now, what is that? That's not only the products, the control systems and such, but it's mating that with the software and the analytics capability that's available today. Now, I've been involved with this about five years. What I would say is from what's being deployed with customers today, this dynamic is real and it's happening right now. But we just did a survey of about 65 uh, utility executives, power executives in the United States. And these three quotes really stuck out to me. Number one, this is from major utility executives in the United States. From what I can tell, people are collecting all kinds of data and really don't know what to do with it. Number two, it's like people who understand digital don't understand the business, and those that understand the business don't understand digital. And the third one is, in this case, they believe that 1% reduction in fuel costs or increased availability is real money. Just show me. So that's the world that I live in every day. But I would say is that uh, it's real, it's happening now. Everybody knows fundamental to digitization of things is data. There's no industry in the world with more data than the energy industry. Our customers, and we would tell you, by the way, a gas turbine power plant spits out two terabytes of data a day. That's a lot of data. 2% of that data is utilized today. There is a tremendous opportunity to get more out of what's existing in the install base today through digitization. Six things I've learned so far. And this comes from our transformation as a business now going digital. Number one, it starts from the top. If the leaders aren't completely bought into digital, it doesn't get there. Number two, it requires you to accelerate your business. Listen, we studied the startup companies. We went out, studied them. What does it take? How do you do this? You gotta learn to fail fast. Concept of pivot. When you start is not necessarily where you end. You have to learn to pivot quickly. That's what we've learned to do. And I would also say is you have to have products that are purpose built for the digital world. So we had to go out, bring people in the company that knew enterprise software. They knew about products. We had to custom design a purpose-built product for the industrial internet that's cloud-based that will work not only on our equipment, but anybody's equipment. Because in the world of efficiency, empowering the people, you gotta work on anybody's stuff. One of the things we've learned is to evolve this is we have to sell differently. We have to sell outcomes versus product. That's how the software world sells. And uh, one of the nice things we have, everybody has to look at their own base, but we have 92,000 connected assets today in the world. So that means you gotta track what's going on and how does it all get connected and how do you expand that? And I would say the cyst of with is new metrics. And uh, the metrics are everything from the basics, financial metrics, quality metrics, reliability metrics. But when you're talking about powering the people and doing things quicker, it's also about, okay now, how many assets do you have under management that are connected? We also had to get into is, 
our cycle times for product development went from three years to three months. It's got to be much, much, much faster. We walked that through. And then you track some things called lighthouse customers. Those are your customers that are really your spokespeople. And they're the people that step forward. And uh, I would say in the United States, we have some of our best deployments. Uh, one of the big ones going on right now is in uh, the state of Illinois. But we have them going on all of the United States. And what you're seeing now is existing grid networks, generation networks, operating higher efficient, better reliability, lower M and N costs, and allowing people to mix in more renewables to the grid and still keep that same level of reliability we've all come to expect with the system. There's never been more opportunity to bring out the diverse set of power that's required in the world, be it renewables, gas, storage, or, by the way, there's about 16% of the new power in the next 10 years over the world is going to be in coal. So you got to be balanced. But the opportunity is to do it the best efficient, the best reliable, the best affordability. In digital, this angle that's happening right now, i got to just tell you, it's real. It's happening like right now. Um, and it's accelerating. 